Good morning, everyone. This is Kim from the James Kennedy Public Library. Um, happy National Library Week. And we are uh, doing some recordings to show some features that the library has to offer on our online databases and digital resources. Uh, the digital resource that I'm going to be discussing today is TumbleBooks. And I'm going to share my screen so that you can kind of see where you can go to do that. Um, it's a wonderful um, little, uh, I'm, I've not done this before. I'm just trying to figure this out. There we go. Okay, so you go to the library website, and that is just dyersville.lib.ia.us. Um, you can do, get to it in two different collect ways. You can go click on the tab that says digital collection, or if you scroll down, it's also here with an icon. And you just scroll down to Tumble Books, um, Tumble Book Library. And there are books for children, grades, uh, e-books, electronic books for kids, kindergarten to sixth grade. There's math picture books for children, kindergarten to sixth grade. There's ebooks for teens, romance for books for adults, and then e audiobooks for all ages. I'm going to just cover a couple features. There's a lot to explore in here. I could spend an hour explaining it all, and I'm not going to do that to you. But if you go just to ebooks for, for children, um, you can uh, do storybooks, read along, uh, graphic novels, nonfiction, videos. I'm just going to touch briefly. They're National Ge Geographic videos. They're usually one to four minutes. Um, very short, brief little videos, but very good content. Um, there's puzzles and games. Um, and let's just go along to the ebook right now. And there's lots of choices, a lot of really popular authors. Um, I was impressed by the number of choices that there are. So it's, especially if your kid is reading a book at school, but maybe they forget at school and they need to read it at home, this is a good option. And Sometimes books that are popular have a lot of holds or they're not available as soon as they want them, but this is a good way to get to them. So I'm going to just go to Because of Win Dixie, and then it gives a brief description of the book. It gives the word count, the reading level, um, AR or Lexel if you're into that, um, and then you just go over to click to read online. You can add to favorites and it will add it to your, to your system's favorite list. But we're going to just do read online and then you start reading. Now, on my screen, it tends to cut off the corner, the edge, and you can change the, the text um, options and things like that to make it fit your screen. Um, and then you use your computer arrows um, if you're reading on a. Uh, I mind not know if I'm blank. Uh, like a regular computer, but if you're on a tablet or device, you just touch the screen to pro progress the book. So I'm going to just use my arrows to go to the next page. And then you can bookmark. If you want to, if the child stops reading, they want to bookmark. And the, you set the bookmark. And then you close. And say you open the book again on the same device, you would set go to bookmark. You click on bookmark and then go to bookmark and it would take you to where you had ended reading. So that's just the regular chapter book. Um, if you do the read along, um, these are books that will have um, the audio along with the, the text. So the blue button starts the audio and what it will do is highlight the text that is being read. If you have a child who has difficulty with reading comprehension and may, needs to hear something aloud, uh, this is a great resource. Uh, studies have shown that kids who do read-alongs where the book is read out loud as the child follows the text can improve their grade, grade reading level significantly and it improves comprehension and it's, it's a wonderful resource. Even if you, you know, I, for myself, Obviously, I well not I well not obviously it's not obvious I could have a lot of trouble reading but I don't um, but I get very very car sick <laughs> and I can't read a map without throwing up so in a car while I'm you know a passenger so audiobooks to me are wonderful so if you have a child that gets car sick or motion sick and wants to have something to do in the car that's not 
uh, visually based, they can um, do one of these and not have an issue. All right, we're going to go back to the uh, library's webpage here and go back down. This is the one I would say the one drawback to this collection is that you can't jump within levels within the platform. You have to go back to our webpage to go to a different level. So eBooks for Teens re goes pretty much the same. Um, there's fiction, nonfiction, drama and poetry, enhanced books. That would be the read-alongs. They don't call them read-alongs for the teens, but it's the same thing. It has the audio along with the, the reading. So the book is read while the child or teen follows along. Graphic novels, videos is the same sort of thing. I'm going to move my little thing here. Um, they have audio books. So that's just where there is no text, it's just read. And then um, AP English, um, which I've not explored. So you guys, if you're into that, if you need that, then you are more than welcome to explore that. But I'm not going to address it here. Um, and then there's romance books for adults. And there was a pretty good collection. Again, I was somewhat impressed with the um, selection of authors, the, their popular authors. Um, I, some of the covers are probably not suitable for anybody younger than 18 watching this. But um, so I had just clicked on uh, Sabrina Jeffries' Closer Than They Appear. You can read it online. And then it gives you a brief overview on how to function within the um, within the, the, the program. So I'm going to say don't show this again because I've read it. Um, and anyway, then you just click. And so here you click on the center of the screen or you tap if you're on a device. So you can, if you do the middle, you get all of the options. So there you can increase font, decrease font, which is great if you are having issues with, with uh, large, you need a large print, you can increase your font size on these. Um, and then I'm just going to go to my, I'm, let's see, I, it logged me out. Let's see, go to bookmark one. Oops. I had bookmarked it at one point, but here, chapters, bookmark one. So um, when, when you bookmark something, you have to go to chapters and then your bookmark is within that. And I bookmarked the cover. So then it's, it's that's where it goes. I'm going to page through here real quick. And then if you click on the center, you can bookmark. So I'm 28% read the book, I bookmarked it. Now, if say I come back and I go wanna to go to where my bookmark is, then I go to bookmark two and it takes me to where I had stopped reading. So this is a really uh, good resource for, um, Anybody who maybe can't get to the library and wants to do some reading, you can do it anywhere you're at. Um, you can, um, I'm going to stop sharing my screen. There we go. Um, if you're traveling and you run out of books and you don't want to pay for a book, Tumble Books is a great resource to do. So I hope you get a chance to explore it and play with it. Like I said, there's a ton of audiobooks and um, ebooks and then for the younger readers the enhanced readers and truly if you're an adult and like to be read out loud to the younger kids books are, are fun to listen to I they have some mood music that goes on and it, it really sets the atmosphere so they do a very good job with the audio books and the enhanced readers I started reading a little bit of Ivanhoe and, and doing the enhanced part with and the man had a British accent and there was some very um, medieval music playing in the background and it was a lot of fun to listen to Thank you very much, and uh, thank you for supporting our library and uh, sticking with us through the pandemic and all of the changes that we've had to do with our services, and, and we look forward to serving you well into the future. Everyone have a great day. Thank you.